Hello, it's Nikki. Welcome to part nine. Today is about the good data, the bad data, everything in between, and what you're going to do with it next. Whenever you embark on a new chapter and figuring out where you want to go from here, it's really important to notice where you've been. Because there is that phrase, especially in self-development, that success leaves clues. And in understanding why certain things happen, it works both ways. So sometimes it can be, well, we had a global pandemic, so therefore these things didn't happen. And it might be seen as bad data. So if I look at my first quarter, for example, of 2022, I wasn't in major marketing mode. I worked and I earned money and, um, you know, kept everything as it should be. But I didn't feel like I was in that really big growth stage. And so I could look at that and go, oh, bad data. You know, I thought that I would earn such and such in the first quarter and I didn't but the good data was we moved house we moved into this house and it's honestly one of the best things that I've ever done in my whole entire life and so looking at this good and bad data can really bring in and welcome in the circumstances around it and I think we especially as women are so good at taking responsibility for our, our mistakes and owning up to them and feeling bad about them. And I remember so many times where you'd have to do um, reflection forms. I don't know if you did them at school, where there would always be that question. And often it was the first one, but they were all much of a muchness of, if you did this again, what would you do differently? Or what could you have done better? And sometimes I wanted to write, I did the best with what I had, but now I know that it's time for a change. Now I know it's time to mix things up. And so I urge you, before you embark on tweaking or reworking your services, to spend some time looking at what's been going on. And you get to choose, choose the time scale. It might be a month, it might be a quarter, it might be over the year, you might want to look at the last five years, depending on how much time that you've got. But also really paying attention to what it is that you need, how you work best. And I've really learned that by doing this exercise over the years, where I might look back on a service going, well, no wonder that didn't sell because I didn't talk about it. And I did it because I thought that I should and I didn't have enough marketing time on it. So I mentioned it once and hoped that it would sell and it didn't. So there we go. This is a really important process. It's one that you can do independently, but if I can help you and walk you through it, I would love to do that as part of my pricing and my packaging work. So do go over to my shop, nikkiraby.com forward slash shop um, and get in touch. Let me know what you need. Hello at nikkiraby.com. Um, that's it. Hello at nikkiraby.com. I was trying to add a forward slash in there. Didn't need to keep my forward slash to myself. Um, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, for listening and being part of this series. If you know somebody who's going through this process, maybe in the run up to the summer holidays, do send it to them. Um, you can also find all of the episodes on my blog or iTunes or wherever you like, really, YouTube, they're all there. So um, come and find me. If you can't find me, email me, hello at nikkiraby.com with no forward slashing. Uh, have a lovely one. I'll see you tomorrow for part 10.